Hello y'all. This is the failed Revolution, a Hearts of Iron 4 mod set in a world where the Americans were unable to break away from British control. This caused a number of other things to happen, such as Germany never being unified. On that note, this video is going to act as part one of a Prussia Jacobin Path playthrough. Here is some brief history on Prussia. Prussia has long been a nation with a great military tradition. Prussia stands as one of the most powerful of the German states, uniting the northern states into a loose confederation. However, the dream of a unified German state hasn't been realized. Perhaps Prussia can still unite them together, or will they fall to the dominance of Austria? We have started. Let's go to our national overview, where we can see that we have three national spirits, and they are Solervin, Army with a State, and Military Industrial Complex. Meanwhile, as for leaders, we are democratic in terms of ruling ideology, as well as a social democracy. Ultimately, well, that's if you want to be more specific. And the Chancellor is Otto Wells. Meanwhile, the monarch is Wilhelm II. And let's go to our research slots where we have four, get basic machine tools as well as construction one, and electronic mechanical engineering, all the good stuff like that. I've noticed we also have a lot of fighter research already done, so, I mean aircraft research already done from 1936, so that's one good thing for Prussia. And I suppose let's research this support equipment there, MG the MG-08 and the Lecture Mainland Waffe, some kind of mortar, I believe, and free civilian factories. Let's build some more civilian factories, build them in Brandenburg. There we are. Done. And we have a faction that is called the North German Confederation. It consists of the Grand Duchy of Nassau, Hesse, Hanover, Mecklenburg, schleswig holstein Hamburg, and the Grand Duchy of Oldenburg. And we do have some subjects, I believe. Yes, we have the Grand Duchy of Hesse and the Grand Duchy of Nassau, who are junior partners apparently. So here is Oldenburg. No, they're part of the faction. Whoops. I mean, here is Nassau. There they are. They're led by Charlotte here. And here is Hesse, which is led by George Donatus. So we have a lot of divisions, I think. Our military is 26 divisions, 24 infantry, one motorized, and one cavalry. Meanwhile, we don't have an air force, but we do have a navy. And there is a lot of ships, and our pride of the fleet is, let me see here, is the Admiral Shia, I believe that's right, the High Sea Fleet, I think that's their name. Let's merge all these ships together in Konigsberg, just so we can have as powerful of a fleet as possible that's unified and everything. We can just break them off as needed when, well, when needed. And now in the focus tree, let's do Future of the Prussian State. It says here, although the glory days of Frederick the, of Frederick the Great lay long behind us. There is still hope for our future. The Prussian, the Prussian state can, once again, rise to glory and unify the German people. The eagle will rise over Europe. And from this focus, we'll get 10 political power. And that's going to be done. So let's take our divisions here. We'll just move them all to the, maybe to the, how to say, get two armies established. We'll move them all to the Austrian border for now, since they're like our rival. And here we have the field marshal, that's Prince Wilhelm von Hohenzollern. I think that's the, that is in fact Wilhelm III, I believe. If, well, he's Wilhelm III if Wilhelm II dies. Now let's get Erwin von Winzelben to lead our troops here in the first army and in the second army. We'll have Erich von Manstein. Good. Take these troops now. Go watch the Austrians. So we'll be on the eye for them. We'll just keep a close eye on them overall. And besides our faction being a thing, there is the southern German states with Bavaria and such, and they aren't part of any factions. And the Swedish-Finnish compromise is taking place in, well, Scandinavia. Let's get this division over here in Westfalen and Prischich, whatever that's called. Just bring them to Army 2. We have a few more divisions I forgot about or no. Let's also recruit more divisions, get more of these guys deployed. What is our template? We have 18 combat with divisions, with support artillery, and support artillery, and an engineer company. Not bad. How's the motorized? Pretty good, too. Cavalry brigade, they're okay. They could be better. They could be stronger, but it's fine. 
And let's merge our fleets here. Is that everything? Yes, it is. No, I gotta move a ship. Whoops. A reserve fleet. This is a reserve fleet. This is an early submarine. Move this submarine. There we go. Merge them. There we are. Carl Donuts is gonna lead them. And this mod goes very hard on a black and white portrait aesthetic, which, yeah, Austria, Austria withdraws from Italy. And there's some coronation event for Edward VIII there. And since the end of the Napoleonic era, Venice has been under the protection of the Austrians. Now the Austrian government has stated that after many months of negotiations, a treaty has been signed in Venice to grant full independence to Venice from the empire. And so they are free now the Serene Republic of Venice is led by Bob Brown. I'm sure Bob will do a great job leading the Phoenicians. I wonder if we could take on the Austrians right now. Let me look at their military. They are, I don't know, they have 11 to 41 divisions. They'd be pretty strong, pretty even fight if we did take them on. We'll have to see about that later, I suppose. And we have a different economic policy. Is this new? Diff oh, it's a union policy. Fascinating. And that is that. We also have a new ideology in this mod called Jacobinism. And it's kind of how to say... I can't really explain it right now, but it's kind of this timeline's equivalent of fascism in terms of that... I wouldn't say it's like fascist, fascism entirely, but it's kind of taking the place of it. Sort of, in the political sphere. It's not communism or democracy or monarchy, it's just Jacobinism. And for an example of a Jacobin state, we have the French Republic, and they are, yeah, embracing the ideals. Oh, I gotta read, get a focus done first before I read that description. And long-standing democracy, get that done. Although young, when compared to the British system, the Prussian state has long been a bastion of democratic principles in Europe. And from this focus, the ideology of democracy will become more popular. And what is this here? The Bundestag interface. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Modify officer core, don't worry about it. Okay, so Jacobinism, let me read this description once more, using France as an example. Embracing the ideals of the French Revolution and its outcome, radical Jacobins are heavily anti-monarchist and prefer the rule of a tightly centralized, quote, enlightened government that can protect them from monarchist threats. So it's very it's very much the antithesis the antithesis the antithesis of monarchy cannot it's not compatible with monarchy at all by design I think that's how it's supposed to work and France is very powerful in this timeline they have several puppets to have the Dutch Republic their sister republics so as a special kind of puppet for Jacobins I guess they have the Swan River Republic many African states French and no China who else they have French Tunisia there's also French Ephra Equatorial Africa, Francois, Francais, and there is Occidental Africa, I believe that's right, it's like West Africa, and they have several, they have just so many subjects, they have their own faction too, I think they do, yeah, the Alliance Francais, Electronic Mechanical Engineering is done, now let's research, get Mechanical Computing started for faster research speed, a long staying democracy. I'm just waiting on it to get done so I can have the 1936 elections take place. And can I justify it anyone? I shouldn't be able to as a democracy. Okay, I can. I figured. Although in this mod, in this mod, democracies can justify when there's 50% world tension instead of 100 like in Vanilla Hoy 4. So that is one difference there in how democracy functions on a mechanical level in the failed revolution, I believe. And we have 160 some political power. Let's go to early mobilization, get that done, to get less consumer goods, to, so we can have less consumer goods being used for factories. We don't, well, we don't need as many factories being used for consumer goods. And the Austrians have moved, how many divisions do they have on the border? They're just not, they're, oh, they're exercising. And do we have enough to do that ourselves? Yes, we do. Let's make some more divisions. What is the average unit equipped with here in terms of gear? Okay, so we should be fine in having so many units recruited. Yes, so let's start doing exercises for the whole German army. Or no, we could just grind for military XP. They're all regular in terms of training level, but I mean, the military XP could be useful for us. Here's some new infantry divisions. We got a lot of stuff researched. Let me pause briefly. Move these divisions over to the second army. Good. They got to get 
they gotta get their exercises in. And let's do the focus, the grand promise. The Prussian government campaigns for greatness and a restoration of it of the former glory it once held. This should this should entice loyal Prussians to head to the polls. And from this we'll gain ten percent base stability. So the elections are coming up. We'll see how they turn out soon. Research slot available, we have two of them. Go and do concentrated industry, get that done. Also research oil process, you know, go ahead and get started on improved machine tools, get that done now. And our exercising is underway. We're trying to help out the Prussian military. And let's just have the Navy also do some exercises. So they'll be also getting some EXP for the Prussian military as a whole. So we can be ready for war faster. I mean, well, get some doctrines researched faster than usual. And now, what can we do? Modify Officer Corps. Who can we even get? Like, who is available for that? Uh, military High Command. Military High Command. And who do we go for? Get the infantry guy. Yeah, get Ferdinand Schwinner here. Infantry Division attack is going to go up, and so is infantry, Divi infantry Division Defense. And the Russian Tsar has died. That is bad for Russia, probably. I guess it is. And they have the inter Interrogium now in charge of the country, effectively. And Russia has its own faction called the Pan Slavic Entente, which consists of them, the Kingdom of Serbia, Tsardom of Bulgaria, the state of Xinjiang, and the Kingdom of Mongolia. Mongolia and Xinjiang are just puppets of Russia, but the other two countries in that faction are not. And modify our officer corps again. Let's go with Gun von Rundstadt for army regrouping bonuses. Good. And we're at five, well, five army EXP right now. The Navy gets EXP so fast. That is, wow. I mean, I'm not complaining, but that's good for us, I guess. Construction one is done. And let's do res excavation one, start researching that. The Grand Promise will be completed shortly. I want to get this 1936 election to happen, please. Just want to get it here. And now, we're going we're gonna to have the Jacobins come to power. I'm going to be frank about that. And I'm just going to say for the record, the Jacobin faction in Germany, the DNVP, the Deutsche National Volkspartie, is, they, well, they adhere to Jacobinism and they're led by Hermann Göring. There's no mustached man of Germany here from Austria. Maybe he's in Austria. I don't know. The Grand Promise is nearly done, though. There we are. Now let's do the 1936 elections. This will take 35 days instead of 70. And it says here, well, 70, I compare that to the previous focuses we've done so far. But it says, now the elections are upon us. We must decide on the next members of parliament. Modify officer corps, go to the navy, army advisor, get Franz Holda for army offense. Cause we're going to be very aggressive here. Ultimately, we're at 16 army XP right now. Good. Insufficient resources, I can see that. We need rubber. Let's get some from the Netherlands. Thank you, Netherlands. Appreciate it so much. And I wonder if the USA will try to break off from the UK. They have Douglas MacArthur in charge, so that could happen, potentially. I mean, yeah, it's Douglas MacArthur, who knows? He could do something crazy. Douglas MacArthur is never boring, I'll give him that. Well, in many depictions, in many mods, he's not exactly depicted as a boring individual. Let's just go with that. And we're at 23 Army XP right now, good. And I think getting all those guys in the military high command are helping with our military XP, army XP gain. And we had the Prussian general elections occurring, so let's read this. Elections are being held across the country in the nation's most important in the nation's most important election yet. Die Radicalen, Die von Hollenzonen Leusten, and the Social Democrat Party are all fighting for dominance in the Reichstag. The winners of the election are Die Radicalen, the radicals, I suppose. And we're going to complete the focus, Jacobin victory. And now let's do organize Jacobin revolutionaries. Now it is the time to organize and prepare our revolution against the king. And this is going to give us a national spirit called organized Jacobin rebels, which is going to raise the recruitable population and give us a, well, Jacobism will become more popular by today as an ideology. So the Jacobins are not going to be coming to power right away. They're just going to depose the king through a revolution, even though they kind of won the election. It's whatever, though. I guess the revolution thing's just in their DNA. And modify officer core, add advisor, bold attack, or no. Let's go with inventive leadership. Nah. Go to add advisor. Who can we get here? 
help with everything, please. Get the army logistics guy. I just need to get so much army XP. One von Fritsch is going to give us less division attrition also besides the EXP. And get these divisions over here. Bring them over to the second army. How are we doing with equipment? We're doing fine. Artillery, we need more artillery. That is noticeable. So take one factory off of two factories off of firearms. Put them on artillery. Good. And we have made some new submarines. These are like early, they're U-boats obviously, or submarines in general. But we have them in the reserve for now. And what is the army doctrine we're doing? I suppose superior, I mean mobile warfare, we are doing that. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go. I, I can't really do the Blitzkrieg, to be frank with you. I may actually switch to superior firepower. Blitzkrieg would be better if we had a united Germany, but we don't really have that. We gotta fight for that. Add an advisor, bold attack. Well, spirit of the academy. Let's go with embrace the future. Did we do that? I don't know. Let's go with bold attack. Just get that done. Navy, go with instilled aggression. Yeah, instilled aggression. So that will help our commanders be more aggressive. We'll get a higher attack stat whenever they level up, possibly. Modify officer core once more. What can we do now? We can get theorist. Let's get one of those. Get the dive bomber guy. Yes, get a dive bomber theorist. We need to build up our air force also. We have BFO 109s being made, but not in any great amount. We definitely need more military factories. Let's start building up that stuff now, like in Danzig and such on. Organized Jacobin revolutionaries has been done. And if it's not entirely obvious, well, it should be at this point, frankly. Let's get invite French scholars done. It's in order to establish a true in order to establish a true Jacobin state, we must work with the French to learn their ways. And this is going to increase the popularity of Jacobinism by 10%. But if it isn't entirely obvious, Poland is not a thing in the failed revolution. It's kind of it's partition between Austria, Prussia, and the Russians. Like it's cut into pieces. To be fair though, Lithuania, all the Baltics are still controlled by the Russian Empire in this timeline. Since I World War One didn't really happen, I believe. Not entirely sure there. And let me research construction two. Get that completed. Good. I'm wondering what's going to happen with the UK and France. Very curious there. I am very curious. I want to see wars break out, people. There's too much peace in the world right now. Any more? Well, Brazil is fighting Argentina. I just realized that. That is going on. The Patagonian Workers Front. They are. Socialists. I think they're like the only socialist country in the world. Fanny Jukbovsky is leading the Patagonian Workers Front and the Socialist International, which just consists of themselves. They're fighting three countries at once. That is agony. They're fighting Brazil, Chile, Bolivia, I believe. And yeah, that is, I can only imagine that is agony. But it's interesting to see that it looks like the Patagonian Workers Front or Ar Argentina is the only socialist state in the, in the globe very different from our timeline obviously so we, in china we have Qing china china is still heavily divided like they're in their warlord era still well in this timeline excavation one is done india was not really taken over by the british and the second american revolution is going on douglas macarthur is up to his well he's up to something the united states of america declared one of the dominion a revolution in mexico wow and a new announcement during well in a yeah in a new announcement during the first few hours of office office Emiliano Zapata has announced a socialist revolution in Mexico. This is the second state to fall under socialist control following the Patagonian Workers' Front taking control in South America. Will the red tide subside, or is the workers' revolution upon us? The red star over Mexico and the Dominion of North America, led by, well, they're, well, they're fighting Douglas MacArthur, so we'll see what pans out for them. I don't know if they'll have help from the British. They may not. That would be unfortunate for them if they don't. Let's get interwar artillery researched. And that's done. Decisions available. What can we do? Let's actually improve the worker conditions. Would that help? Yes. Yeah, we'll get that done. Just get some more stability in the country. Good. And now invite French scholars is done. Let's start doing let's do to pose to king. The age of the monarchy is over. Now a new monarchy, a new republic shall rise. The king will be deposed and retire Prince William, Wilhelm von Hohenzollern. That will take 14 days. 
and we're several days into it already. And let me stop exercising the army in a little bit. Once we have the Jacobins rise to power, we'll just stop all exercises and focus entirely on trying to unify all of Germany. That's the plan for now. And the pose to king is done. So Konig Wilhelm flees to he flees to exile. The king of Prussia, Wilhelm II, has fled his country following a radical takeover. The new government of Prussia has declared their intentions for a one-party republic, continuing the legacy of the revolutions in nearby France and the Dutch Republic. The former monarch now lives with his family, with their former allies of the Hab former lives with their lives with his family with their former allies of the Habsburgs. So he's in Austria now, I suppose, who has pledged to restore him to the throne. Experts debate whether or not the Austrians will intervene, but one thing is certain, a new order rises in Europe. The revolution spreads. So while a Jacobin revolution is going on, a socialist revolution is taking more of a hold in the Americas. So in this timeline, in this world, I suppose there's no escaping from monarchs. You either have revolutions on the left or revolutions more to the right. I have no idea really there. And let's do the focus. New Republic. Now that the monarchy has been deposed, a new republic is born. And the DNVP will become leader here. And also, the there's a chance the members of our faction may try to leave the North German Confederation. That will be a problem, but we will deal with it one way or another. And did we, oh, we lost a commander. Yeah, the Wilhelm III is no longer a field marshal. That makes sense. So let's have Gunn von Rundstedt take over there, and let's have the Navy stop exercising. It's done, guys. You've done enough. Go back to port in wherever this is in Koslin. Just hang out there for now. And so, modify officer corps, add advisor, relief of command, or proper heritage, professional officer corps. We'll do that. Good. And we've allocated a lot of command power to all these. I'm not real. I'm just now realizing having the all these commanders and well. This all makes a difference for the amount of command power we can have. A field up officer corps is just very expensive, I suppose. And did Hungary just break away from Austria? I mean, they're a puppet of Austria, but still. They're vaguely independent. Vaguely independent. And how is the Ameri well, how are the Americans doing in the Second Revolution? They look to be winning, because frankly, the Dominion of North America does not seem to have as much industry as they do. Although they are trying to hold out in Illinois, I have no clue if they're going to successfully do that. They're, it looks like they're losing ground near Chicago, though. Modify Officer Corps. And there we go. There we are. A new republic. Well, a new republic has been established. We are now the Prussian Republic, and we're led by Hermann Göring, who is a Jacobite. Well, he adheres to Jacobinism. Historically, Hermann Göring was a German politician, military leader, and convicted war criminal. During World War I, he served as a fighter pilot, and later, after this, he would become one of the most powerful figures in Adolf Hitler's Germany, where he is perhaps most known for overseeing the Luftwaffe, also known as the German Air Force. And let's go to our focus tree and start doing, say, let's secure Confederation members. The monarchs of the North German Confederation will, will, will wish to leave, but we must secure them before that happens, and this will unlock decisions to integrate faction members. And who all left the faction now? It's just us. Oh, it's Hamburg, Mecklenburg, and us. So that's it. So we got to make sure they do not bail out. Let's take the German military off, the Prussian military off of the border, and keep a close eye on Hamburg, for example. Where's Hamburg? Oh, they're over here. That's a little... Wait. Oh, they are here. I didn't realize Hamburg was independent. Okay, well then. So let's take the military. Who's the strongest member of our faction? It is... Mecklenburg, or no. Who's our subjects? We lost all of our subjects, didn't we? Okay, so we lost no members at all. I think Hanover left. They left. So let's try to keep... Let's get the Grand Duchy of Nassau and Mecklenburg and the faction. Did Hess leave? They did leave. That's kind of strange, since they're still a puppet, but it's fine. Modify Officer Corps, and let's not worry about that for now, or we should. Probably Chief of the Air Force. Get Hermann Göring. He's the guy in power. He can obviously lead the Air Force. He'll do a fine job there. Maybe. Who knows? Get Carl Donitz for the Chief of the Navy. He does Commerce Rating. 
and this focus will be done shortly. We'll get some decisions that will allow us to integrate the faction members of the North German Confederation. And later on, for anyone who doesn't join us by peace, they will be united into Prussia by force, evidently. And secure Confederation members, get it done. Good, and let's do the decision. Get, I mean, do the focus. Enlightenment, pan-nationalism. One of the most important effects of the Enlightenment was the development of nationalism, a sentiment we shall exploit to unite the German people. And this will unlock a decision to form Germany. So we're planning to unify all the Germans in, well, in Germany. That is the long-term goal. Oh, wow, we have this system here. So click to spend political power. So I have to spend political power to get them to join the faction? Is that how that works, to reduce their autonomy? Very intriguing. So Hess, we'll focus on Hess, maybe. Since they're already a puppet of our country, we'll have to... I'm very curious how that system will work. I mean, it makes sense. I'm just... I don't know. It's very fascinating to me. Oh, well, it should be fine. Let's spend some political power on Hess. Get it done now. Click to spend political power on them. Can I not do it? Oh, they have to be in the faction. Oh, we just annexed Nassau, didn't we? Yes, yes, we did. Okay, so that's how that works. Interesting. So we just click on them and it works. Hess, not so much, even though they're still a puppet of our country. That is very awkward. What do we do about them? Do we just build up in their country until we can annex them? I guess we do. Yeah, let's just do that. So let's now build tons of infrastructure in Hessen and hope that's enough to get them to be integrated into Germany. I mean, into Prussia. Because it doesn't look like we'll, we'll be able to do it peacefully. I mean, do it any other way since they are a, they're an integrated puppet. So let me check autonomy for them. They are, in fact, very close. Oh, we need more political power, don't we? Yeah, we need a lot more political power. I'm just going to have to conserve political power to get that done. That sounds fine by me. And we'll eventually fight. We'll fight Hanover first, or maybe the Bavarians first, just so we can try to unify Germany. They seem like the major powers, so it might be a good idea to go ahead and just defeat them. And American independence has occurred. The, well, MacArthur led the Americans, and they are now independent from the UK. That's a big blow to the British, and that's a pretty powerful USA who controls also Canada and, say, Quebec. And that's just terrible defeat for the British Empire, for sure. Research is not available. Get computing machine research. We're going again. Well, we're in the position now to invade invade Hanover when possible. I'm conserving my. I'm saving up my political power so that Hess can be annexed using the Hoi Four puppet system and get some more divisions over here for Army One. Good. How's equipment looking? We need more support equipment. It, it appears. Let me just stop building stuff in Hess right now. We were going to give them tons of infrastructure, but that doesn't seem important anymore. Enlightenment pan nationalism. Enlightenment pan nationalism is none at this point. And we have the decision to form Germany, which we cannot use anytime soon, because we need to just annex several more countries before we can do that. And let's complete the focus, United Germany. The period of disunited German states has come to an end. Germany will be united under a free republic. And I guess free could be set in quotation marks there, in the case of Hermann Göring's government. And this will give us tons of annex war goals on many of the German states. Hopefully, they don't just all join a faction, because that would be annoying. And do we get a goal on Saxony? Saxony's not even... they aren't even independent. Okay, we just have a war goal on them regardless. How big is the Bavarian military? I'm considering... yeah, let's just split up... we could fight every country in Germany at once, I'm thinking. I say let's do it, see what happens. So let's move this army here, they're going to advance into Bavaria, or attempt to... this could backfire horribly. I may regret my choices later, but I don't want anybody to get guaranteed and, ru and ruin my expansion process when it comes to unifying Germany. And now, let's do Excavation 2, get that complete. Good. It's going to be very fun trying to hold back every single German state. Get that research there. And let's move tons of, well, just make some smaller armies just to hold the line until we can just focus on them more, like Baden, for example, are going to most likely move into Hess, or no, they don't really border us. So let's move this unit up here, though, to watch the... Well, no, it should be fine, honestly. 
Yeah, because Hess is still our puppet, but they're not going to be... we got to call them into the war, though, so maybe... Okay, forget it. Just send them down here. Yeah, do that. I just need to annex Hess. And available planes in reserve. And that's not many fighters or close air support. Not enough to make a squadron out of, in my opinion. Honestly, let's get this invasion ready here. Just so we'll have the initiative and try to just roll up the... Roll up the Kingdom of Hanover and Kingdom of Bavaria as rapidly as possible. Just blitz them with our Prussian military. And let's make some cavalry divisions, a couple of cavalry brigades. Good, like two of them. That'll be enough for now. I hope this works, I really do. I wonder how France is going to react to all of this. That could be problematic if they decide to intervene in some way. I really hope they don't. If countries start guaranteeing the places I'm invading, I'm going to be out of luck. Modified government. Oh yeah, I'm not going to spend any political power. I need to focus on annexing. Hess, the Grand Duchy of Hess, will, be, will become part of Prussia. That is the game plan, and this focus is nearly done. Unite Germany, come on. After this is done, well, after we unify Germany, we'll go after the Swiss, and then the Danish, and ultimately Austria. That is the plan for, well, the post-unification plan for the Prussian Republic. But we just got to win all these wars first. I don't think it's going to be too hard. We control the bulk of German industry, I believe. So we should be able to get... We should be able to win these wars, even if we fight all these nations at once. And in our focus tree, let's do army with a state. And a Prussian state long has been an army with a state. It needs to reform its military. Whatever. Now let's begin the war, though. Invade Hanover. Start the war now. There we go. Invade Bavaria. Call in allies, because we need the border access. And that is done. We'll invade every other country as well. In Germany, Württemberg. Done. Baden. Done. And also, Oldenburg. Who's left here? Who is left? Is that it? We have nothing on Schleswig Holstein. Oh, we can declare war on them. Declare war on, war on them. And we moved world tension up to 30%. Please don't join any factions, please. That's all I want. Just let this happen peacefully. We're not even going to have... Well... Yeah, I just hope this goes well. This could backfire horribly, like I've said before. But at this point in time, it's going well. Can we advance here? Baden is... I, Wurttemberg and Baden does not have much of a military, don't they? Well, I don't think Baden did, really. Yeah, they were forced to capitulate. That is over fast. That's crazy. Take all states. And we could make them a sister republic, but we're not going to do that. We need as many states in Germany as possible. Let's have Army 1 keep moving into Hanover. Good. Army 3 needs a commander. Fear the war von Balk will work. And let's have them fight the forces of... What is this? Fight? Fight? Well, fight Wurttemberg, who has like five divisions. That's a larger army than I anticipated, but he'll be fine. We'll overwhelm them too, like we're overwhelming the Bavarians right now. And honestly, this unification is a lot easier than I thought it would be. But I'm not complaining. It's just an observation. Keep going forward, though. Should be easy to invade Oldenburg once we get there. Just force them into Germany. The French are just watching on the border. I'm sure they have, they're have. they curious what's happening. Go forward now. Get to Hamburg. Oh, we got to invade Hamburg, don't we? I forgot about them. My bad. Hamburg, you got to get in on the action. I, got, I can't forget about you. Oh, no, they're part of our faction. Oh, so whatever. Okay, so we'll just annex them peacefully. Wurttemberg has been defeated. Take all states in turn. So I guess we still will have to annex those guys peacefully. It'll take some time to do it, though. It's fine. Just get to Wilhelmshaven. I wish they'd left the faction. It would have been easier for us just to invade them. Get to Munich. Capture Munich, please. Odenburg has fallen. Take all states. Done. And that is a big blow to them. Hanover is nearly defeated. They have a few cities left, I think. But it's not going to matter anymore. Just destroy them. Destroy their military in the field. And they're losing ground hard. Get to Munich, please. We took Munich. There goes Bavaria. They're all falling down like dominoes, aren't they? All falling into place for the Prussian Republic. And that's good there. Now let's turn our attention to the north and focus on helping out Mecklenburg, who has been annexed by... Well, they're being invaded by the... I kind of left them to be invaded by the Duchy of schleswig holstein Free military factories. Let's get some more planes made. Close air support. Good. Need more support equipment manufactured or no? We captured a lot of stuff, I think. It looks like we did. Now let me switch over to superior firepower. That's going to be that's going to be our doctrine now. And how much more political points do I need to get subjects? 
Did I annex them? Hessen? I just own them now? Okay, whatever. Never mind. They're part of the country at this point in time. I guess they are. Let me look at the map. They are, in fact, part of the country now. So let's just do this rapidly as possible. So Mecklenburg, Mecklenburg. We annex them. That's just, wow, that's fast. Hamburg. And unification is just one few steps away. Honestly, we have Mecklenburg's military now. Mecklenburg, you're going to have to... Okay, that's fine, actually. Just get these guys with Army 1, free military factories, one free military factory. Make some support equipment. Good. And we're going to have, honestly, Germany unified by 1937. It looks like it. So, invade Schasser Holstein, get the Kiel. We're going to have some borders on the Swiss at this point. Army with the state's going to be done. Let's get this over with. What is keeping Hanover in the fight, I wonder? I am really curious. Pass, pass, pass. Annex. Done. Okay, let's defeat Hanover now. Yeah, they're defeated. They just fought to the last soldier, didn't they? So take all states. And with that, the German unification is effectively complete. As fast as we declare all those wars. And let's form Germany. And the German Republic has been formed. Only through unity can the German people achieve greatness. And that's a quote by Wilhelm von Hohenzollern. And sadly for him, he's not leading this German Republic led by Hermann Göring. Now, who do we choose to bother next? Maybe the Danes? Or no, Sweden. I mean, Switzerland will demand them to, well, demand their subjugation. That sounds like a good idea, because we have tons of soldiers. So get down here to burn, please. And this is just, wow, we're advancing so fast. We have a million plus manpower now, tons of more factories. Way too many factories. So many military factories. Oh, we have tons of them not even in use. That is nuts. Just crazy. Get more planes, more close air support, please. More of those, more tactical bombers also. Tons of more dockyards. Build more ships. Build a lot more ships. Expand the German Navy as rapidly as possible. Get some convoys manufactured also. Like at least one factory on convoys. Or never mind, it's fine. We have 935 anyway. We should have no issues with convoys unless they somehow all get sunk in the same place. And we have all these military factories. This is absurd. Keep building up our military, though. We have more factories assigned to constructing, well, manufacturing infantry equipment. We're now, at this point, watching the, watching the, watching the Swiss. Can okay, we get these units down here? They're not doing anything. Get down here, please. Come watch the Swiss with the 1st Army. 45 divisions. I need all of you down here. Army with the state is done. And I hope we can imitate the Swiss into accepting subjugation. And the Swiss state exists as the Swiss ex exist as a hodgepodge of, well, their Hermann Göring's government believes they are. Sw the Swiss state is a hodgepodge of different na different ethnicities who should belong to their own nations, apparently. And he doesn't really care for Swiss culture, I suppose. So let's get these units here. Now have Army Three be established. We'll have them border Switzerland. I mean, Denmark, possibly. There we go, Army 3, led by Virdon von Bock. He's back again. Take him to go watch the Danes, perhaps. Yes, that works. And what will the Swiss do, I wonder? Free dockyards, convoys. We have a lot of convoys we can make. I mean, actually, no, don't make convoys. We'll make one, one dockyard for convoys, or two, or three. I think two should be, three at most should be fine. How big is the Austrian military at this point in time? They have 25 to 97 divisions. I wonder if we outnumber them. We very well could outnumber them. I'm honestly curious if we do or not. Let me check our equipment. We have tons, so let's pump out the divisions faster. 15 divisions for the, well, 17 German divisions in this queue. So much, in fact, we're now getting to the point where our garrison divisions are just going to be called reserve divisions that are not going to be used as reserves. We're just going to use them in battle. And infantry division, let's give you more artillery. Good, I'm going to need to manufacture tons of artillery now, unfortunately, but we'll deal with that. We will take some factories off of guns, off of the infantry equipment, and put more on, on artillery. Free dockyards, or that's old news. Insufficient resources, get some stuff from the British East Indies. I, I think that's the British East Indies. Thank you. Rubber, take this from the Dutch, the Netherlands. MG34 has been researched, and... Now, let's start doing the, well, let's research the MP38, even though it's pretty, 
pretty well it's a 1938 well, 1939 tier tech okay that's not too advanced let's instead research military police get that done but we need some advances in infantry equipment even if it's ahead of our time or not advanced weaponry would only help the German Republic at this point and how close are we to dissolving the Swiss Confederation very close what would they do what will they do well let's do the focus secure the North Sea will gain an annex war goal against oh they, they declined okay invasion inbound then let's go oh they're guaranteed by the British I figured this would happen do we want to fight the British nah yeah I figured to do stuff like that so let's pull a trick card here and I can't do it because of world tension that's an unfortunate so as soon we'll not worry about the Swiss then I mean we'll just invade the Danish so have the first arm the second army here I should have figured the British would try to guarantee everything France I'm not really worried about them doing that because they're not democratic but the British are which is annoying but it's we'll have to deal with that that's just how it is how it is and the first the second army is going to go watch Denmark and once this focus gets a few days from being done we'll just slow down time to the point where the British will not have any chance to react to our war declaration upon the Danes although they may try to invite the Danes to a faction and the United Kingdom declared war on Ireland can we invade you now or are they still gonna guarantee them maybe maybe no they're gonna fight Ireland though please have issues at home Please have more issues at home. We can convince you not to guarantee these countries. Just go deal with them. How big is our navy versus their navy? I mean, I imagine they have a huge navy because they're the British Empire. They have... That is 218 to 315 ships. We need them to be at war. We would need them to be fighting the French before we could effectively do anything, honestly. And now... Modified government. Let's go to partial mobilization. Good. How's this focus doing? 29 days out of 70 and okay so are they defeating the Irish or are they losing it looks like they're losing in Ireland that's it looks pretty embarrassing for the British there because Ireland just popped up into existence led by Tom Barry Tom Barry's doing quite well for himself as a country that just came into existence a short time ago well in this instance anyway just came into existence in this in this situation now let's start making more military factories get more of these manufactured that's what we need. We need, I mean, build more military factories for the sake of our military. Secure the North Sea will be done soon, I hope. I wonder if the French will go fight the British. Please go fight them. I beg of you, go fight them. As a fellow Jacobin state, help us out here, French Republic. Help, help the German Republic by fighting the British. Doctrines available. Let's unlock delay. Good, are we ready to fight the Danes yet? Denmark? No, we have a few days still left. We'll be fine. How's equipment looking? We need more artillery. We're almost out of the deficit we're in. Secure the North Sea. I'm going to slow down around day 65 or 67, 68. Somewhere in that range. Time is just flying by. So it's all good. Get there. 66, 67, 68. We'll be here now. Slow, slow down time. Speed it up ever so slightly. Good. Here's a new division. Assign them. And let's go back to watching this. We're almost there. We have a little bit more time done. And let's get close to that point. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Slow down time. And now we just got to do is wait. So just get that focus done, please. Four hours left. One, well, three hours left. Two hours left. Two, no, one hour left. And we're there. Good. So now let's declare war before they can even do anything. Just leap into action. Declare war. We're going to get Norway out of this, ultimately. Declare war. Move in with the... With the... Both armies. All the troops of the 3rd and 2nd Army. Get these divisions here. Assigned to Army 3. We just hope to overwhelm the Danish entirely. Move out. Overwhelm them. Destroy them. I mean, just annihilate their divisions in battle. I should have done this with the Swiss, but I was not really keeping a close eye if the British would choose to guarantee them. Or not, probably in the future I should pay closer attention to that. But let's take Denmark, and they called in Norway to help them. Here's some volunteers from the French Republic. Thank you, Napoleon. Keep moving here. Capture Aarhus. Aarhus. Get all these places. Get to Copenhagen. Why are you going away? Don't go. Take Copenhagen. Capture Copenhagen. I don't know if we're going to get to Oslo or anything like that, but it is what it is if we don't. And let's get our navy here. Send these guys. Copenhagen has fallen. 
and I guess we'll just get Denmark. No, Norway. It's fine. So satellite all this. Do we take Iceland as well? We could satellite that. Nah, let's just take it. The German Republic is going to control Greenland and Iceland now. Norway. We're still at war with Norway. That is fun. So let's get the military here, get the navy, and prepare for a naval invasion of Norway. That is going to take place very soon. Get these few divisions here, three or five divisions. I don't think Norway has much of a massive military, considering they were a puppet of the Danes not too long ago. Well, we just defeated their overlord, but I imagine their industry was mostly... They couldn't really build up a huge army because most of their... A majority of their... What is it? A majority of their resources was going to Denmark instead of being used for domestic purposes. And let's have this unit land at Christiansen and have this other unit land. Well, these two divisions land here. Good. We're just going to take Oslo. And then once we have that initial landing done, let's move the first army away from the border with Switzerland because we can't really invade the Swiss Federation because the British their machinations in the region. So get the first army up here, or no, guys, please get on the order. That was a mistake. This was a mistake. Come on, now, first army, stand here. Third army, stand over in Copenhagen, and just hold down a port for now. And in a focus tree, let's complete, say, promote a new field marshal. The old guard stands strong. It says the old guard stands strong. And here's some volunteers. The old guard stands strong in the leadership of the Prussian state. But, but perhaps we're not for, not for much longer. And this naval invasion should be ready soon. Are these guys on the order at all? They are, yes. I need to have the Navy deployed. So they're repairing right now. Just deploy in the Danish belts, patrol in the area, fight the Danish Navy or Norwegian Navy. They have some submarines. It's not really going... Oh, they're fighting our convoys. That's annoying. Just patrol there, get that done. And do we win? Or we won? So they were forced to retreat. Let's split this force up split them in half, and one will be going into the North Sea to provide naval superiority there. So focus on the Eastern North Sea, and that is that. That's what we need for this naval invasion plan to be launched successfully, and three divisions are already on their way. The Norwegians are now going to be left on the defensive. Well, in a, yeah, they got to defend, defend their country now. We took a port. That is already bad news for the Norwegians because we're going to just funnel in more troops. And let's send them in. Army 1. Army 1, let's do this. Get there, please. Just have them make their way forward. And their goal is to eventually reach Oslo if this other naval invasion we are planning does not get that done. I wonder if the soldiers trying to capture their objective of Kristiansand will be successful. They might be if we give them more support. But, well, we'll use the support, well, the divisions that took Starvanger. So we'll have them push there from another direction by land, and that should give them the edge we need. And here we have 12 new divisions. So the German military, the German army is rapidly expanding in size. And now we have a lot of naval dockyards that aren't doing anything. That's awkward. Okay, so let's fix that. Do we not have any designs? What are we building then? What are we building if... Okay, forget this. Let's just build more of whatever we were building military factories let's get more of those good and now we are still getting come on guys push you got to capture oslo are you guys ready soon no please get there get that order launched i guess the third army will help out in oslo possibly they're in copenhagen right now take oslo please get there good now let's take everyone from denmark the german forces of the third army send them here well the german third army and capture this part of Norway. We gotta go all the way to Narvik now, which is fun. But let's have the entire military move out and have these guys make the long track trek to Narvik, or we'll just have to launch another naval invasion in the distant north. So let's go. Come on. Everyone get up here, please. Make one unified front line. I don't care. Just move out. Advance forward. Establish more of a spearhead, well, bridgehead in the country take more provinces so we can have better supply. Ultimately, research slot available. Go with, I don't know, what can we do? Let's research field hospital. Good, and I suppose, I thought the Irish were gonna win their war. They did not. They're still guaranteeing the Swiss, by the way. Why? Stop guaranteeing the Swiss. Go do something else. Go try to retake the USA. And what is the British East Indies? Is it actually India? 
Is it India? Oh, it's the British Raj. Wait, are they called the British East Indies? No, it shouldn't be. What am I thinking? Weird. To promote, promote a new field marshal is done. Let's go with Gudarayan. Get him as our field marshal. Side with him. Or no, go with the old guard, actually. And now we have locked ourselves out of that little different path for our more Blitzkrieg-oriented for more Blitzkrieg-oriented military, and let's complete the focus, defensive stratagems, keep moving into Norway, please. We've cut the country in half effectively, take Trondheim, capture it, get there, good. And let's keep building up our military, get the Narvik, it's a long slog, the Narvik, it looks like. The 22nd String Rungs Division is going to head there, modify government, let's go get cabinet, we need a cabinet. Let's have Eric Koch or a silent workhorse, we'll get him. And Germany had, well, they, Austria has formed Austro-Hungary. How big is their military? 32, 32 to 124 divisions. And once defensive stratagems is done, we're gonna go ahead and get rid, oh, they cut them off. Come on, guys, get the Narvik, please. Establish a front line, I beg of you there. So first army, your goal is just reach Narvik. I don't care what you do, reach Narvik. Get to Narvik. All I ask for, reach. Oh wait, that's the first, that's the second army. Second army, reach Narvik, please go, go. That's your order, head out now, get there. Capture Narvik, the Norwegians military is annoying, I know, their army is really resisting us quite hard, but we'll get there. These guys are stuck in the fjords of the Festland that will destroy them, just annihilate those divisions. And we still gotta take Trondheim, don't they? Yeah, we have to still take that. Whoops, I think we may have lost that area. Whatever, it's fine. Here's some new divisions also. We're gonna have a fourth army established. This is such absurd growth for the German army. And now we have a fourth army. Maximilian von Wies is gonna lead them. Research slots available, I'm noticing that now. Research BF-110s, also BF, no, never mind. Armor, medium tanks. That's fine, free dockyards, build more destroyers? I don't know. How many more of these can I make? Five of them, eight of them. I don't care, make tons of them. I just need to make sure my my dockyards are building stuff since I'm gonna be deprived of them. And I won't be able to make any more of these ships later on. Make more destroyers, all of the destroyers. Every single ship, make more of them. Every single model, every single class. The German Navy has to be stronger. Norway has capitulated, good. Pass, 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 take all states. Or we could make them a sister republic, but nah. Let's just annex them. And a German republic has done quite well for itself. And at this point, we're going to probably try to challenge the Austrian Empire. Could this potentially go horribly wrong? Yes, but now we have more of a stronger military than we did just a year ago. Doctrines available, unlock mobile defense. And let's go and do... I mean, yeah, complete that focus, dissolve the Austrian Empire. Austria is ruled by Germans, dominated by Slabs. Those Germans will join, should join us while the Slabs will be left to their own devices. And this will take 70 days. The first army group, well, army group one of Germany will be set up to move into Austria-Hungary. And they gotta get down there. Let's establish some air wings, get some close air support up. I don't know if the Austrians have much of an air force. I hope they don't. Really hoping they don't. Close air support, there we go. One more squadron of fighters, good. And we're gonna have to really focus on breaking through in, say, in what? In Bavaria, we gotta reach Vienna. Do they have cores and all this? I don't know if they do or not. They do, yes, they do. Whatever, so focus here, move these planes out to Bavaria, focus on the Alpine region, do air superiority and close air support, and let's move our navy around, well, have them stop what they're doing. Stop those missions, please. You guys are fine now. Don't need to do no missions at all. All regions have been removed. And as for modifying the government, let's go with getting a new foreign minister, get the compassionate gentleman or ideological crusader. That's what we're gonna do. And now we wait for our war justification to be through on the Austrians. They do not have that many divisions compared to us, I think. Rapidly deploy more troops. How many more equipment do we have? We need more artillery. I will point that out. And this is 17 divisions. That is nothing to scoff at. So get all these troops here and deploy them. And we'll establish a new army. That's going to be Army Group 1 filled up. That's five armies. Have them be led by Kurt 
student or no Paul Hauser, Hauser, you can leave them. And that's fine. Get these guys set up now. We should be able to overwhelm the Austro-Hungarian Empire, I'm hoping. We have tons of infantry, like a crazy amount of them. And let's also stop making as many divisions. Just move it down to, say, 6 or 7 instead of what we were doing, 17. Just do 5 instead. It's just too grand of a number. We need a lot more artillery also. That could be a problem if we don't get enough artillery manufactured. So let's get some more rubber from the Netherlands, more tungsten, well, tungsten from the UK. And what are they doing? They have a different flag now. The Imperial Federation. Oh, that's what they're doing. Interesting. Whatever. They're trying to unify their country more. It looks like they absorbed their dominions and such, like Australia and South Africa. Meanwhile, Austria has formed the... Oh, I guess South Africa isn't really a thing in this timeline. But now they have Australia, I believe. Yes, they did. Well, part of Australia. Part of it is controlled by the French. But either way, all these several countries have just unified themselves more. And we'll see who will win between Austria-Hungary and a recently created German Republic led by Hermann Göring. And now we have a few days until we're ready to dissolve the Austrian Empire. Let's get this going. Come on, a few more days. Just wait a little bit longer. More of the armies moving into position. They had to get down from Norway or something like that. Let's slow down time shortly. Slow it down. Slow it way down. Or no. Let's pick up speed a little bit more. we got to get through one more day. We'll attack on the 18th of 1938. Just wait for it. There we are. Don't guarantee them. Please don't guarantee them. Don't guarantee them. Our military is massive. We have this. We got this. So let's go now for Germany. We shall have... We'll see who will unite all the Germans. Now let's have more air force deployed. Good. We'll deploy more units. More air force troops. More Luftwaffe who, well, they have the chief of the air force is the leader of our country. So deploy these guys in Czechoslovakia. Have them do missions there. And let's begin. This is going to either be great or it's a disaster. It's all... What in the world? This is actually better than I thought it would be. And in our focus tree, let's research, expand weapons production. And we're really pushing hard, aren't we? We're attempting to, anyway. I don't know how strong the Air Force is. We just need to overwhelm them with enough troops. We have enough fuel. How's equipment looking? We're doing fine with guns. Not so much with artillery. Artillery is an issue. I will recognize that. That is indeed a problem when it comes to how equipped it are the German military is. Good. Concentrated industry. Three researched. Good. Their military, I, I will say, I think they're not as strong as I thought they were. I mean, we're all, we are suffering some more setbacks in a few areas, but we are winning in quite a few places at the same time, especially in Austria, which was sort of the plan. We'll push hard in Austria using a ton of close air support and whatnot. And it looks like we'll also take Prague soon. And I think I'm going to end what is part one of my Prussia Jacobin Path playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, the failed revolution here. If you enjoyed the mod, you can check it out in the video description. The link to it is there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And part two will be on its way soon.